Speak, speaking of another place where it's pride, it's pride year, every year would be Thailand, somewhere I just came back from. Uh, interestingly enough, a lot of people go to Thailand, they go on these wild vacations, guys want to dabble in a bit of Muay Thai, obviously you've got some MMA there, uh, and steroid vacations, because again, allegedly, not that I would know, that when you go to the pharmacies, they ask for the little book, you can, uh, you can swipe all the way through, and you'll come across some in interesting substances, such as Trambolone. Trembolone, there are a lot of rumors that people, Trembolone make you do some weird stuff. Like it can make you act irrational, it can mess with your mental health. There are people out there that say it can make you, uh, it can encourage a gay experience. And that's the argument or, or the excuse, build that in for later. Why, if you go to Thailand and do some Trembolone, you might have an experience with a lady boy. But again, a lot of people do that in time. A lot of people do have experience with Lady Boy. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's along the lines of the cuck thing. If you're that confident that you could pull that off, all for it, yeah. right? All we, for it. We had a couple of close friends who had some good encounters in this last trip. That's true, that's yeah. true. I think you might have given it away there with close friends, but yeah, we definitely in the, oh, I just came back from Thailand. We had a camp out there. Always a wild experience. Again, I would say most people come back from Thailand with one of two perhaps even two experiences. That would be a staph infection and a ladyboy experience. Those two things are paramount. Uh, I don't think you've been to Thailand unless you've come back with either. I don't know whether I had a recent bursitis issue where my bursa was infected with staph, had to get some IV antibiotics and stuff. I was feeling like a massive pussy about it. I had to take two weeks off of training, but then we saw recently Tim Schultz, MMA fighter training at Bangtao. I'm plugging Bangtao. I'm not warning you of its uh, staff there. Staff's present at every gym in Thailand just because of the because of the humidity, humidity, I think people out partying, going wild and stuff, immune, immunosuppressed, you know, maybe the steroids immunosuppressed too. Um, but yeah, Tim had this staph infection in his foot that just kept getting worse and worse and worse. If you want to check it out, Tim bought MMA on Instagram. You've probably already seen it. Uh, I've looked at the pictures a couple times, but it's too disturbing for me to keep going back and looking at. But yeah, Tim, ultimately, had to fly to Australia because uh, I didn't think Thailand could look after him because they were talking about cutting his leg off because they were worried that the staff had gone through. So it'll go into your muscle and then it'll go through to your bone. If staff's in your bone, you got to cut that limb off or I believe you're going to die. I believe you are actually going to die. They flew him back to Australia and I believe it was a doctor on vacation in Thailand. I could be butchering this story entirely that went to check him out in hospital said, oh, this shit's real, real bad. He got him like a, a first class flight back to Australia so obviously he could lay down on the leg. Gets to Australia, ultimately they had to remove all the skin up into his upper thigh and um, some, some, it wasn't too deep into his muscle but yeah, it was definitely well on its way there. But that's, that's one of the worst things that you could come back from Thailand with. That would be right up there with uh, gonorrhea, chlamydia, other things obviously super common in Thailand. Yeah, but again, I don't know why the staff's so bad out there, humidity, immunosuppressed. I know you can buy antibiotics over the counter there, so I don't know if people are pumping them down, creating some antibiotic resistant infections. Um, I did just hear about a, a medically resistant form of ringworm. That is definitely concerning. Had a few outbreaks of ringworm in my time. Usually cure it like most other skin infections I have wherever they are in my body with a bit of bleach and a credit card scratching uh, session to clear it up, kill it straight away. That'll kill ringworm straight away, but I'm not sure about this new medically resistant one. Another warning for ringworm, don't go to your pharmacy and ask for the ringworm treatment. Whatever medication they give you that says ringworm on it doesn't work. You have to go athlete, the athlete's foot medication. So bizarre. If you go, I've had this so many, well, I had this a few times before I realized. If you put the ringworm treatment on from a CVS or a fucking Walgreens, the ringworm will go away and come back. But if you put the athlete's foot one on, it goes away, it stays away. Ringworm's pretty harmless, but fuck comes back yeah. again and again and again. It'll fucking torture you. But yeah, it's horrible, horrible skin infections in Thailand. Thailand, for me personally, we had a great time out there. We filmed some stuff for Street X. Uh, we filmed some stuff with Lady Boys. Lady Boys, 
are a great time and I think it's something um, people here could learn a lot from. I think if you are transphobic, go to Thailand, hang out with a ladyboy, test your urges because again, some of these ladyboys are absolutely beautiful, you know? People make the joke that men do everything better. I think even they make even better ladies, you know? But we were hanging out with them. What I love about the ladyboy culture in Thailand is that like if we're at a bar and there are a few ladyboys there and one or two of the guys in your group are a bit like nervous, a bit uncomfortable around them, they will go out of their way to really make them uncomfortable. My brother <laughs> was frightened. One of them took a great liking to my brother. My brother's like six, seven, six, eight. She was really into him, I think, because he's tall, because fuck, he's ugly. It must be because he was tall. And she was really pushing, pushing herself on him, making him quite uncomfortable. And again, that's something that I think makes a lady boy one of the boys. Because we like to attack each other, we like to make each other uncomfortable, we like to go out of our way to ruin our friends' days, potentially weekends, potentially weeks. We like to remind them of mistakes they've made, horrible things they've done. And I think that's what really, truly makes lady boys feel like one of the boys. You know, obviously, you know, if a friend wants to bring his missus, or you hang, you, a girl's like, I want to hang out with the boys, I'm one of the boys, you're not, unless you're a lady boy. <laughs>